Hi guys, welcome back to Swift Reactions. Today we are going further down the road and rabbit hole. Today we have the tale of Jenny and Screech. I have been informed that we have to listen to the official 13 minute version of this. So, let's get into it. Oh, he's got that beautiful guitar again. It's a Spanish sound. Like old Santana or something. I don't even think Santana's Spanish. Yes, he is. Anyway. Love it. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street Somewhere at another city Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep Well she knew this town, she knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you blame? Well on the very same night in a different place There was this hooded young youth by the name of James He was 14 years old and out of his brain He'd been smoking ganja with the boys James, he grew up to be a kid of the street His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet He was a liar, a thief, a 14 years old The devil had set his sights on his soul as Jenny walked home all along she felt scared Usually she was alright but it was like there was something in the air A divine intervention telling her to beware Maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared Siren sounded in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech Give me all your money bitch, give it to me If you cooperate then you'll soon be free I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me I mean it! It, bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high heeled shoes What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it, girl? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reached with the sheath of the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath Did he just stab her? Oh my god Okay Um At first when he was singing like about her and about him like I was kind of thinking maybe this is going to be like a funny love story of sorts. Um, you know, like two opposite kind of people that they just turned the corner and met and um, was not expecting him to rob her, although maybe I should have been expecting that. He did say he had a dark soul and, um, but I mean... This took a dark turn very quickly. James, James, James. Honestly. Let's get going. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere mm. at Nanta City. God, he's got a beautiful voice. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's far out somewhere to sleep. Well, she knew this town. She knew this floor. Because she'd walked it about a thousand times before. I guess that she escaped. It's such a shame. A shame seems like an understatement. Okay, so this is like a part two. Somebody did say to watch this so that I understood all three parts, so I'm guessing this is part two. Thank you guys for all the comments. It's really hard to react sometimes knowing nothing, but then you don't want to look up information, so it's been really helpful. You 
can tell when he plays guitar, he's a real musician. Our story, it starts right to the end of the life of poor Jenny, clocked out like Big Ben. This screech, dear boy, where did he go? He melted into the black night just like snow. Yeah, this would make no sense having not listened to the first one. Patrick, man, let me in, please open the door. I think I fucked up, Patrick, really fucked up, man. I'm not sure. I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor. I think I killed her, Patrick. Come on, man, I can't knock no oh, more. Oh, God. But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore. But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 50. You seem to scream in this no out to the For our villain, for the bitter hands of fate. With something far more sinister in mind that does away. What's more sinister than just stabbing someone and walking away? Hey babe, are you in? No, nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch, for fuck's sakes! Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill that was cry the smartest just decision she ever made. Like the sharpest knife. But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue light. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who stood at six foot three. Working London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see. Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed. With no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest. Ah, oh, story, it ends right to the star. Young Screech and poor Jenny Lying one street apart An officer shaken By the boy that he claimed Two bodies lay lifeless And it's such a shame Such a shame It's such a shame I like this little shame Oh my god. It's just like the retelling of a nightmare night out for somebody that's just... He's got this way of turning conversational or, I don't know, turning situations into a song that, I don't know, ordinarily maybe shouldn't be songs. I don't know works so well though so I think we're up to part three now let's have a look or maybe the end of part two oh no Violet's tail who's Violet his mum maybe Yeah, you can tell the guitar's just second nature to him. Ooh. 
Sorry, Sean. London city, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive Rhythmic beats and bloodstains, she's our lady weep, she's tired and frail To set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale Violet an organ recipient or something? I mean they're at the hospital. Violet was a silent girl, grew up with violent starts. Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard. Every night he took a tie but never left the room. I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16 A semi-detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little prick Violet was a silent girl and Violet she fell fast See Stevie was the wrong and but he sure knew how to charm her Every night he took a tie but never left the room History repeats itself, he'd paint her black and blue and dark Why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's irate. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone Full force, full blown, blood black bone Crack, knick knack, paddy whack One to the jaw and the tooth spat Detached fist connects and disconnects a bone A quick deflect to misdirect the blow But nonetheless his punches met her throat Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke Violet, why you always so silent, Violet? Why you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I wanna do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent well, say something, Violet! Silence. Fucking say something, Violet! Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. London city, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong See Violet, she was pregnant, poor Violet she was nine months gone Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence And she cried, if I'm to die right here tonight Please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure Called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black The curtains closed, the lights went dim In London City, far from pretty 2005 A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins aligned side by side Twins? A girl named Jenny 
And the boy named Screech. Okay, processing. Uh, so, Violet was their mother. She had twins. Then they grew up in different households, obviously lived very different lives, and then met each other in this alleyway where he killed his biological sister. Am I getting that right? Wow. I did not pick that in a million years. Um, what a storyteller. What a roar and visceral story to tell. Uh, once again, that's left me a little uh, lost for words. What a lyricist. I, I'm really quite in awe. I um, don't know what else to say. If you have any more suggestions, please let me know. Very keen to know where next to go down in this uh, rain rabbit hole. Enjoying it so much. Apparently he does some busking. I think I'm going to have to check some of that out. I love seeing people busking. I love just seeing people's reactions live to when people are singing. I think that that's one of the things that is the most joyful about music. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.